guys, welcome back to more PS6 Master League. Emirates Stadium today is the venue and Arsenal is the opposition. It's an away game for Reading today, a fixture 22 league game. So uh, yeah, um, Arsenal, we're going to be meeting them in the Champions League semi-finals as we found out in the last episode. So uh, today is a little bit of a preview maybe before them. Who knows, a little taster of what's to come later down the line. But, um, you know, we've had some good matches against Arsenal. That one earlier this season was probably the best match. Maybe the most exciting match, potentially, we've uh, maybe ever played. Or at least one of the uh, ones up there. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Mutu and Tevez are going to be the partnership today up front. So we've got uh, Company at the back, along with, uh, I believe it's Maldini and Gomzi, I believe. Um, so, yeah. Actually, no, I think Company companies in there we'll, we'll find out in a minute but uh yeah uh omri uh, van persie and i think maluda starting there yeah gomzi maldini company yeah yeah that was it so uh yeah um we got to uh, mafio uh, puello in the dmf and uh yeah we got to uh, messy attack in midfield hookstra on the left of the midfield and uh Chu Young on the right and obviously Karini goal. Um, Keller was maybe going to be selected for this game but wasn't at the last second because it's Arsenal and it's a pretty important game so you know we don't want to take any risks at least not too much anywhere so uh, yeah uh, Arsenal will uh, be maybe a difficult one this but I reckon we can easily win it oh that's not properly cleared that that was a little tricky that a little tricky but uh, here is Hoekstra and uh, Reddin are on the attack here. And Hoekstra's got plenty of space to run into. And... Oh, that's a gift. That is an absolute gift from the start. That really is. Uh, Hoekstra, so much space. And then just has to find Mutu. That was it. We've got two men on him. They can't get it back. Mutu's in space. He's just got to put it across the goalkeeper there. And he does that with ease. And uh, that is 1-0 Reading straight away. So there's a little bit of a, a block of time that's opened up um, after the uh, last league game. So uh, we don't have um, any cup games for a while yet. So kind of a good time just to, uh, you know, mix up the team a little bit and... Uh, not have to worry about resting and stuff like that. Although, like, Martins, um, Obina and Metzelda are still, um, you know, suffering from a lot of fatigue. So, obviously, they are going to be rested. That's just that little bit more. Um, and uh, hopefully, they'll be fit and ready to be back soon. Sooner than later, I should say. Here's Maluda. And, oh, not a bad shot. Oh, Henri. Gets a foot on it and sort of forces another save out of Carini there. He was up and alert to it. Ball is given away again here. Here's Maluda. And Maldini's staying on it and rightfully so. And then Carini pounces on the ball there. Decent defending to uh, stop that. And make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Here is Messi and he puts Tevez in. It's Tevez. And uh, that's pretty good. Oh, Tevez won't get onto it, but it's going to be a throw into Reading in a decent area of the field. Here is Tevez. And it's found Hoekstra. And, oh, on the 10, Mutu. Messi was in space. Could he have passed it? He probably maybe could have that, and Messi should have buried that if he did. But uh, not to be. Here's Mutu, and he's stopped by Julio Batista there. And I'm not even sure where the ball's going to end up there. It was uh, it was rolling for days. Here's Ambrose. Hitzelsberger goes out to Maluda, and Omri sort of looking to make a run there but stopped by Chu Young and uh, I guess the whole idea is that um, well shot oh, that's well wide from Henri that one you expect a little bit better there um, I guess the whole idea is just absorb the pressure from Arsenal win the ball back and then just sort of try and counter is kind of the idea currently
Here's Puello. And here's Company. He's going to go back to uh, Van Persie there. Here's Mafio. And it's Messi. And Messi's on a run. It's Messi. It's Messi. Oh, he doesn't score, but he gets through and manages the shot. Saved by Lehman. And it's Tevez. Still Carlos Tevez out to Chu Young. Ball's coming in. And oh, just Hoekstra couldn't do anything there. From Percy, chance over the bar. Decent opportunity. Had to get that one under control and make sure it was lower than that, but at an awkward angle, there wasn't too much he could aim at. I mean, he could try a chip over the keeper or something like that, but was it really on? Uh, I'm not particularly sure, honestly, there. Would have been lucky to have scored it. Sometimes it's kind of a case of you just fire at the keeper and hope he doesn't get to it sometimes, depending on the situation or the angle. Here's Omri. It's Mafio. It's Omri again. And he tries to go over to Van Persie. Here's Mutu. And he finds Hoekstra in a lot of space to work with. It's Hoekstra. He's got away. He's got away. Because there wasn't much to do there, he's still going as Hoekstra finally gets his ball into the box it's back out, it's Messi, it's Tevez who blasts it over oh well the goalkeeper reacted pretty late on that one so it could have been in the net before he'd even dived here's my vote Maluda out wide Gomzi's coming across he uh, stops the cross coming in. Mutu wins the ball back there, but uh, the referee is just going to blow up for half time. And uh, it's going well, but uh, you think you need that second goal. You just need it. All well and good in that first half, just about. I think that some of Arsenal attacks were not great, let's put it that way. They were um, lacking a bit of quality, but we're doing well to close down the space, so you might argue that's uh, what was causing them issues. Zils Hitzelsberger and uh, Franz Thierry Henry. And here's Tevez. And here's Chu Young. Chu Young's got to do something there. It's only as far as Maluda. Torre hoofs the ball up a little bit. Here is um, Gomzi once more. He's getting in the way of the ball quite a lot today, Gomzi. He's doing pretty well. It's over the top here. It won't find Mutu because Lehman is there to uh, gather it up. Here's Marvo. Maluda out wide. Stopped by Gomzi Gomzi once again. Proving to be such an asset in this match. No, oh, Gomzi again just... He didn't completely stop the uh, Thierry Henry there, but he, um, he did enough to put him off. Uh, my man of the match so far. I think I think uh, Gomzi is definitely, definitely. And it's over to Chu Young, and Chu Young's got the opportunity here. It's Chu Young straight at the keeper. Managed just to run towards goal there and get a shot off. It's on target. 
Messi goes in. Oh, it's unlucky. Mafio just doing his job there to make sure the uh, ball was still in Reading's possession. Here is Company who goes out to Hoekstra. And there's Chu Young once more. Chu Young with an opportunity once more. It's Chu Young and oh! Tevez with the tap in. Well, neither of the goals today are the prettiest you'll ever see, but if they count, they count. Chu Young doing what he usually does down the right hand side. Cutting in, having a shot. Doesn't necessarily need to, can sometimes cross a good ball in. It's going back to Carini, who's just going to float the ball forward. And here's Mafio, and he goes out to Chu Young once more. And he's beating his man as Chu Young, and he's in again. He's in. It's Chu Young. Oh! Nearly did the similar thing there. And the header from Mutu, which is not going to be directed where he'd like. Messi, here he is, it's Messi, Messi's got an opportunity now, it's Messi, still Messi, ah, tried to bend it in from an impossible-ish angle, did he have other support there, maybe could have had Tevez for a little bit of support, Mutu is off and Andy Cole is on now, Messi's uh, going to go up front just for the uh, last... Um, 15 or so minutes. Uh, Tevez has also come off. Ben Arthur is on for him. Here's De Jong, who's come on for Hoekstra as well. It's Puello, and it's Messi. It's still Messi. Oh, it's Chu Young, it's free. It's game over. He deserves a goal today. He really does deserve a goal, if anyone. But Messi can use his pace in those forward positions. It might be better if he was up front directly, but it's it's a tough one to call, especially when you've got you know Aguero, Mutu, Tevez all competing. Martins, who's currently unavailable. Well, I mean he is available, but not to our standards, he isn't. Here is a space just to fire this up. Arsenal undone, and that. Is game over today, surely. Here's Benatira, once of ours. What a player he was. Absolutely amazing he was, especially in the AMF. Great stuff. Here's Song. Company's on him. Oh, he's gone way past Company. And that's easily dealt with there. And uh, there could be a break on for Reading. Oh, maybe not. Here's Thierry Henry. And it's Ambrose. And opportunity there, but it's going to just fall flat. Over. And that's, that's not going to reach too young, that one. A little bit uh, too ambitious from Mafio today. Not played the greatest game today, I don't think, Mafio. I mean, he's, uh, he's been in the right area at the right time here and there, but other than that, yeah, not really too much to say about him. Here's De Jong. And it's over the top. Oh, Messi couldn't get onto it. Headers here, one minute is added on. Here's Gomzi and Van Persie. It's 
Van Persie. Oh, he's run out of time. What was he doing? Arsenal only got one man in the box there. He's, they're never going to... Oh, well, I was going to say, they're never going to pick him out. Surely not. Arsenal don't look like they're interested in going for even a consolation goal at this point. Which is kind of sad to see. And that is the end of the game. 3-0. Solid from Reading. None of them were particularly fancy goals. But they were goals. Game records say that Chu Young was the man of the match. I have to agree. What a game he had. He was just absolutely tearing down that right-hand side today. And causing all kinds of problems for Arsenal. So... Yeah, definitely the man of the match. 7.5. Got a goal for himself in the end there, which I was quite happy with. So, uh, yeah. I'll tell you what. He's not really meant to play there, but every time he does, wow. <laughs> he just, he's just great. He really is. So, uh, yeah. Great performance today. I thought Messi played pretty well, actually. Um, so, uh, yeah. Not bad. So these are the results from fixture 22 in the league and it looks like this. Portsmouth got another point this week against Celtic this time. 1-1 could have done with a win but still. Uh, we got uh, Tottenham, they drew at home to Fulham 1-1. Uh, Liverpool win at Old Trafford 2-1 against Manchester United. We got Aston Villa and uh, Watford which was 1-1. Chelsea win at Middlesbrough 2-0. West Ham lose at home to Wigan 2-1. Interesting. And uh, yeah, Bolton win at Everton 3-1 let's look at the table so this is it and uh, Chelsea overtake Manchester United with that loss today they had against Liverpool so uh, yeah Chelsea are up to second once more so uh, yeah United only a point behind there West Ham could have done with uh, some points today but uh, now they lost surprisingly um, yeah Arsenal they're going to remain fifth Tottenham remain sixth Liverpool still seventh uh, Middlesbrough eighth if we move down to the bottom no changes at all this week uh, Portsmouth they got another point but still five off survival so yeah it's uh, it's all heat you know but, but then again it was um, 16th against 15th today wasn't it so really Portsmouth could have done with that but it's also Celtic could have done with the points today but uh, they share one each so yeah here we are then fixture 23 is coming up next and uh, yeah we got uh, Spurs at home to Middlesbrough to start with we've got Chelsea at home to Aston Villa Celtic are at Watford Liverpool are at home to Bolton we got Arsenal at home to Portsmouth go on Portsmouth they're on a little bit of a run at the moment they, I mean they've taken points from the last two games they might have not won any of them but you know and uh, yeah uh, West Ham they're at home to Everton who need to kind of bounce back West Ham and uh, Wigan they're at home to Manchester United so that's what's coming up in the next week Reading are at Fulham and I believe a few seasons ago we went to Fulham and it was like nil nil all game and then we ended up scoring like in the something like the 80th or no I think it was was it 90 it was like 89 or 90th minute and uh, that was crazy so who knows this time but um, yeah I think after this we've got Everton coming up as well and then the Manchester United game in the cup again so yeah there's a few games to uh, get through before we get back to Champions League football so I don't know about this one maybe we can afford to play a full strength team again we've got a little bit of free time currently so we'll see join us next time though guys comment subscribe and share as always see you then take care